the organs that I do hold quite often. Oh. Well, thinkest I that if thine did look in the box, that thine would be strucken with love also. For thou do be human, I think. <laughs> and if thou do be human, then thou shalt feel love. And thou feelest love? Oh, no, it's not what stirs in mine heart. Uh, but uh, I do thinkest of mine love all day. <laughs> and when I, when I pour this mead, I do thinkest more of mine love. And when I handest thou the mead to carry to patrons, I do still thinkest of mine love. But no, it's not if this be what love is. What sad souls these two are. I think it would be fun to mash them up and see how they go. <laughs> well, maybe we'll find love for the oaf, and maybe my sister will, my brother will be happy with this barkeep. I know what I shall do. Returnest I to the storeroom. Oh, nay, but I be so tired, for I have been serving all day, and oh, oh our idiot barkeep to drop every pot of meat that he do carry. I have heard, I have heard from down in the storeroom. It clatters above my head as a thundercloud. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry, Alex. Wishes thou to take the storeroom? Oh, yea, if only for. But a moment or two for when I catch my breath and can return us to the bar to continue pouring and preventing pots of meat from falling. <laughs> Think it's nice is a fine idea, for no local would know to come in at this time, for it is the dinner break. But perhaps if some out-of-town person, well, nay, they should not know that either. <laughs> <laughs> nay, I shall go back to the bar storeroom now. <laughs> Gregorio, in times alone like this, I think upon thine rivered visage. <laughs> Imagine thee as though this bar, as though this bar top were, were thine back, and I were giving thee a nice <laughs> uh, And I wouldst move my hand up to thine scalp and scratch. Hopefully make thou feel relaxed after a long day of traveling to our kingdom of Saxony. <laughs> I, I bring with me my brother. Oh, <laughs> what fortune! Tis Gregorio. Perhaps rubbing the table didst do this? Nay, surely I. <laughs> Your brother? Why? Why? Don't you sit? And you and, and have something to drink? I have business at the pottery show. Uh, yeah, I know that the tavern be empty, but may I? Take a chair? Uh, please, any chair you wish. Our finest chair. Nay, I could stack two on top of each other to give you a throne. <laughs> thou couldn't even sit atop the bar as a goddess if thou wished. I do not wish to be super praised and likened to a goddess, but upon the bar I shall sit. <laughs> Very good. And I shall sit behind thee at the stool. <laughs> Thy name be Gregorio, yes? Yeah. We met only but a moment before the day. The day hence, and yet uh, thou hast been the only thing on my mind, I must confess. I knew not until this moment who my love may be cast upon, but it appears that, yea, the barkeep, Alex, be my love. It flatters me thus to hear that I have occupied thy mind. <laughs> of course, 
since I have been cleaning the bar and working here, uh, every patron's face I doth see doth morph into thine own in some way or another. I canst but only think of thee, Gregorio. Hey, tell me, what dost thou think of our town so far? Well, thy town is, in truth, more interesting than I can have ever imagined. From the first journey my sister and I did take to the fountain that you hath recommended, and then to the secret chamber beneath the pottery stable. <laughs> yes, I was my sister Alex who didst mention the fountain, and yet thinkest I not more of this. <laughs> and indeed the basement. Hmm. Tis a well-kept secret of this town, and yet there are rumors about what that bad box doth do to the mind of, and heart of that which do, does look inside. Mm -hmm. And yet thinkest I no more on this. It was the most wonderful chest, like those carried by pirates in air days. A chest thou dost speak of? Perhaps t'was an, an ancient box, one covered in dust and made of wood and metal. Yea, tis exactly the one. Have have you looked inside of it before? Oh, nay, nay, I have not even been in the underground storeroom. For it is the tortured artist Marcus who lives there, and nobody doth like him. <laughs> <laughs> nobody doth wish to go inside. Well, one person doth like him. <laughs> Tis my twin. My twin doth be in love with Marcus, for sure. Tis no secret, I can't tell thee. And since we are but practically lovers already, I know <laughs> secrets that are mine should also be thine. And tell me, Gregorio, thou hast looked upon this box. Didst, didst thou, didst thou open it? <laughs> I know this be a well-kept secret, and thus none have spoken about their experiences, but yea, I have looked inside. And, and what didst thou see? Nay, 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 tell me not, tell me not, tis a secret. Perhaps as mine secrets are thine, and thine are mine, perhaps I shall look upon the box myself some day. Perhaps thou shalt look upon the box anon. Anon? Very well, we shall go. <laughs> Unclothed pots <laughs> to rest on the shelf and taunt me and my love. <laughs> For I, Baron, have finally found true love. Tis the pot of Marcus. <laughs> and repair it I shall that we may look our best on our wedding day. <laughs> I, for the pottery festival cometh soon. I, and shown before the people thou shalt be, O oh, my love. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me, Oh, thou knockest as though thou art quite familiar with this establishment. <laughs> oh, surely tis Tristan. Oh! Forgive me this trespass, my love. But I must not see the face of Tristan. <laughs> Thus do I smear mine eyes with, with thine slip. <laughs> and open the door for Tristan. Fell enemy Tristan, who should I see his face? Surely violence would enter my heart. Tristan, come. Welcome back. What speak is this? Man, do you think it's thy name be Tristan? Yea, but speakest this oath, oath of many unclear things, and I think we <laughs> need not dwell on his thoughts, and may we go to the trap door that I see there. Very well, <laughs> let us go. Yea, I hear thee walk on the hands and feet as thou sometimes does. <laughs> uh, and down to our chamber you do go, I rest there and rest no pots of yours on the shelves facing my love. Squirt. 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 Yeah, 
dark in here. And there be a piles of charcoal everywhere. Doth this charcoal be the treasure? No, not the charcoal. It would be the box that we had spoken of. And yeah, it, had, it had been found in the corner, but I have moved it to the center of the chamber, and yet it, it be not here any longer. Upstairs I do be, <laughs> and in trouble I do be as well, for I did get quite yelled at when all the pots <laughs> in the bar did go missing. <laughs> so now returneth I to my master's studio, wave thus at Baron, <laughs> and assuming he did see me, must in search for a pot go. <laughs> Here be a pot. <laughs> Someone hath yet taken the treasure chest or moved it. Hey, heareth thou thundering footsteps from above our heads? I, I fear that our trespass may be identified, and perhaps we shall be quickly, but I, I know not where the box may be, and it be the I, most magnificent box. I hope they like this here pot better than the last square pot that I did spring, for that one got me quite yelling. Chew I now on the mint that doth make my breath smell good, <laughs> and before I enter the bar, I adjust the tie that I had bought from the tailor, my hands clean, my face devoid of any clay, I enter an honor. If I perhaps say things very squishily, they <laughs> shall not know the difference. Master, thou didst summon me, yea, and thou wishest a pot. Yay! Bring, bring here now! I Might I give this to this vow? I vow may rest it here. Yea, and to the square pot I shall move. Mm -hmm. Mary, take this away from mine sight. I shall fill this pot with mead, and then... Nay, nay! <laughs> Alex, I, I know... <laughs> Thou sense that thou cares not for 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 the pots or, or the pottery or any of the clay that I doth work with, and hence. No. <laughs> <laughs> 